Hey, said family, what is going on? This is kind of going to be a off the cuff video, just me talking to y'all, going over what's been kind of going on in my life in the past little while. I get a ton, ton of comments of y'all saying, hey man, where you're at, you know, how come you're not making weekly uploads? Where's all the, where's all the reviews? Where's the new builds? That kind of thing. And hey, I just wanted to let y'all know kind of what's going on. First off, I gotta say guys, really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all have been such a huge uh, support to me on the channel over the last couple years. I get so many of y'all that, hey, have commented on every single video that I do literally for years. Y'all know who you are. I really, really appreciate you guys and just everybody who has been watching the channel. So what's been going on with me? Y'all, a couple big things going on this year. First thing, I got married. That has been kind of the big thing. Why the videos have been slow. Getting married took a lot of planning, a lot of, you know, that kind of stuff. And just really getting things um, around here ready for that. I had two awesome roommates living with me, but moved them out to clean up the house. Y'all, I had to paint the house. Ended up being a little worse than I thought. Ended up doing a ton of sanding, scraping, cleaning up. Still working on painting it now. As you can see... And hey guys, I get home from work. I need to come up here and film something, but really all, all I want to do is get this stupid house painted and done. So I'm getting it really, really close though. Should have it done here in the next week or so. But hey, again, you know, being married, trying to enjoy that a little bit, trying to take time for the wife. You all have seen her on some of the prior videos. But hey guys, you know, I've worked at, I've worked at this really, really hard. Normally I average over 60 videos a year. That's obviously over a video a week. And I figured, hey, for this special time, I need to take this a little bit of a step back, enjoy some other things while I can. Obviously, YouTube not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. There will be plenty, plenty of time to make more videos. That being said, what is some of the stuff that I'm working on for the channel that I've been working on for you guys? Um, a couple things. First off, if you'll remember back a month or two ago, I did a video comparing the base head garage watt meter to the SMD meter. And you remember we got some con conflicting results. Neither meter was reading, reading the same uh, wattages. Now after making that video, the owner of the SMD meter made a video showing how uh, this meter reads the exact same amperage as a nice clamp meter does. So that was cool. That was useful. That got me thinking, hey, I really should have done a better job with that video. So... I went out and bought a Fluke clamp meter as well. These are one of the nicer clamp meters um, out there, known for being super, super accurate. And I gotta say, hey, I will agree, the SMD meter read the exact same am amperages and the exact same AC voltage as the SMD meter. The only problem is though, it also read the exact same as the basehead garage meter. So y'all, I did a bunch of testing. What it is, is the power factor is, was reading a lot higher on the SMD meter as opposed to the base head garage meter. Now watts is generally speaking AC voltage time amperages. That gives you your best case scenario voltage. That being said guys, of course, in car audio, we are not dealing with best case scenario. So there's this thing called power factor. Basically, there is some resistance going on. So there's going to be a loss of power. So you're not going to really get that 100% just amps times volts equaling watts. It's really amps times volts times this power factor. For example, when I did some tests, this guy was reading an 88% power factor, whereas the base head garage meter was reading like a 75% power factor. Problem is, guys, power factor is not actually a calculation that goes into finding watts. These meters read the actual wattage, they then read the true amp time volts. They figure out what that difference is, and that's how they calculate power factor. So I'm kind of stuck. I can't, my problem is, I can't figure out a way to test what the actual true wattage should be to see which one of these units is more accurate, which one is better. So I don't know, I'm kind of stuck. I've been trying to figure out a better way to do that to really test these two guys out. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Also guys, as you've seen, as some couple quick click, uh, clips in some of my other, other videos, 
Defon sent me their new sport line of amps to make some videos with to do some testing with. And I had just been way too slammed to get that. But y'all, very, very soon, we'll have a video going over some of this stuff. But I did want to show you guys these. These things look really, really sweet. Now, of course, their top line amp used to be the AAK series amp, which I have here. These are incredible amps. They are really known just for being really, really top tier amps. That being said, hey, it was a little bit older, older line. So Def Bonds wanted to update it with their sport line. So this is taking the place of the AAK line. Basically, these are manufactured in China as opposed to being fully manu manufactured in Korea, I think. So what they tell me is you get the same performance as you do out of the AAK line at a good deal cheaper price point. That being said, they said the boards are still Korean, or at least Korean half bridge, you know, design boards. Not sure if the boards are actually made in Korea or made in China. Hey, regardless, guys, not everything made in China is bad. Of course, not much of it is good. I'm kidding, y'all. iPhones are made in China. So, well, I guess you can take that for what it's worth. But anyway, we will be doing tests with these, seeing how they do. I'm excited for that. Also, guys, over here, you'll see we've got something cool cooking. I've been wanting to do some more videos, doing some more tests, that kind of thing. And Def Bonds, y'all, hooked me up with this awesome test bench over here this thing allows me to swap out these panels so we can run different size speakers we can test out five and a quarters we can test out six and a half eight inch six by nines whatever we want to do we could line them up these little switches allow me to turn off and on off and on each speaker so y'all can see in an instant the change between the two you can kind of see uh, the quality between speakers i'm going to try to do some videos on here just really showing the difference in quality between different speakers and this thing is going to make that possible also guys you are seeing this here first def bonds is coming out with a, a head unit made for bass heads super excited about this look at this thing y'all this thing is simple but it's going to give but it gives you some nice features you don't see in really many other head head units first off com compared to your standard head units it is more shallow that means, hey, it's going to fit in more places. If you have a custom dash or, or, or something, this is going to fit easier than your more standard size head units. Two, what I am super excited about, guys, look at that. We have eight channels or four pairs of RCA outputs. That is incredible, guys. I don't know why we have not seen more head units doing this yet. Again, hey, this is made for base heads. That being said, hey, we don't have all the crazy frills. That you see on some head units, just the basics, just what you need for your base head system. Also, guys, each channel, RCA channel, is up to 4.5 volts. You have six full range outputs and two subwoofer outputs. But, of course, you could make all these subwoofer outputs if you wanted because you can adjust the high and low pass filters on everything. Also, to adjust your settings, guys, there will be an actually app you will download on your phone so you can go through your phone and configure this thing. You won't have to go through pushing a bunch of buttons until you get to the right settings. That is really cool as well. This head unit is not out yet. It's not even on their website yet. So hey, again, guys, you've seen it here first, but it should be out soon. I'm going to be doing some testing with it to see how it does. Of course, mounting it inside the system. Hey, let me give you a quick peek of that real quick. Look at this. Of course, got the power supply over here. They wired all this up. It looks really, really great. Super cool, y'all. Next video on the channel will probably be me hooking this thing up, setting it up, testing it out. I am so, so excited. Thinking about moving all these little shelves, mounting it right here. That would be perfect, I, I think at least. That way it'd be kind of on my, you know, video test bench. But I did also think about putting it over there on that bench as well. I don't know. We'll figure it out when the time comes. Anyway, I just want to give y'all a quick update again. Really appreciate y'all. Didn't have time to do a full video this week. I'm really trying to get this house painted. And we got the Sundown Audio Show coming up. I guess when you see this on Sunday, the audio show will have been yesterday. So super excited to see a bunch of you there. I don't have a vehicle this year to bring. At least not a vehicle with a system in it. So that means I'll get to get tons, tons of, den of uh, demos from y'all, which I am super, super excited about. Ah. So excited, guys. Cannot wait to see a bunch of you there. Again, I know you'll be seeing this afterwards. So I guess, hey, if I saw you there, guys, thank you so much for giving me a demo. I know I'll really, really appreciate it. But hey, that's what it is. Anyway, guys, just want to give you a quick update. 
Again, guys, sorry I'm not uploading as much as I would like to, but we're going to get back into the swing of it soon. Also, for anybody who stuck around to, to the end, I am super, super close to getting a new vehicle to start a new vehicle build, and it's going to be something different and something fun, so stay tuned for that. All right, that's going to do it for this. Remember, as always, y'all, keep basing on.